Hello, family. Thanks for checking in. I'd like to do something a little different today, if that's okay with you. With everything still kind of upside down and inside out, I'd like to tell you a story. Way back in the 17th century, Martin Rinkert was pastor in Eilenburg, Saxony, the town of his birth during the 30-year war. If your European history is a little fuzzy, the 30-year war was from 1618 to 1648. The walled city of Eilenburg was a refuge for many fleeing the war and disease and famine. Rinkert ended up as the only clergyman in the town. That meant he often buried as many as 40 or 50 people in a day, including the other clergymen from town. And his wife died in the epidemic. But Martin Rinkert survived. And he wrote, not only during the long-running war, but in the face of disease and the pandemic that decimated the population as he presided over their funerals. And what did he write? Among other things, he wrote this prayer of gratitude amid the pestilence. Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices, who wondrous things hath done in whom this world rejoices, who from our mother's arms hath blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. And keep us in God's grace and guide us when perplexed and free us from all ills in this world and the next. Do you recognize those words? They're the lyrics from the famous German hymn, Now Thank We All, Our God. In the midst of war and pandemic, Martin Rinkert wrote and sang of thanks. We have much to be thankful for, in spite of all the worries and uncertainties. And this hymn celebrates the wondrous things done by our bounteous God, who performs countless gifts of love. And this hymn invites us to cling to God's grace that frees us from all ills in this world and the next. The words are sure, bold, and filled with awe. These words of Martin Rinkert echo the Old Testament prophet Jeremiah who wrote, Give thanks to the Lord Almighty, for the Lord is good. His love endures forever. The psalmist wrote, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Again, in First Chronicles, we read, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Do you see a pattern here? Regardless of your circumstances, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let's pray. O oh God, who raises up servants for your church in every generation, we praise you for the life and work of Martin Rinkert. May your church never be lacking such wonderful ministers. Thank you, God, for your goodness. Thank you for your love and mercy that endure forever. Thank you for never leaving us or forsaking us. Keep us safe, we pray, through these days of uncertainty. We pray again, Lord, for those who are affected and afflicted by the coronavirus pandemic. We pray for those who experience injustice and discrimination, and we pray for those who fight for justice. All these things we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you 
and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Spirit blessed, who reign in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom heaven and earth adore. For thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. See what I did there? That's the third verse from Rinkert's hymn, Now Thank We All Our God. I told you this was going to be different. Now may the peace of the Lord Jesus go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen. Amen. Have a great day.